Hey y'all, this is your girl Optimistic K. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so it's Tuesday. <laughs> so I want to give y'all my little quick uh, recap and the little poke for the week and get y'all started. Get y'all week started right, man. For all my entrepreneurs, this week I want you to ask yourself, what have I done today to cause my mind, body, spirit, and business to prosper? I think that a lot of times we forget that entrepreneurship is about balance and instincts. We got to know when to go all in and when to pull back and when to just chill. <laughs> we need to chill out. The message of this week for my entrepreneurs is that we need to nurture every aspect of our lives because we don't want to look back and see that our business has thrived and it's like going and getting better and making all this money. But then you look back, you don't have anybody to share it with, your family don't like you no more, you don't have no friends, and you just, you know, we don't want to look back and be like, dang, I'm here by myself, all I got is this business, that's all I got. So, I think that we need to take the time every day to do at least one thing to prosper our mind, body, spirit, and our business. Those four things are just so important. If you don't take care of you, who's going to take care of you? Take the time to take 10 minutes at the beginning of your day and meditate and think about absolutely nothing. Just be calm and with yourself. That's your quiet time. Take the time to really go to the gym and hit that gym for like 30 minutes to an hour just to get your body right so that you can um, endure this like crazy schedule that you have. Spiritually, take the time to read the Bible and like ask God what he wants you to do. Tell him that you want him to please order your steps and that you want his approval on everything that you do. Before you make any moves, pray about that before you make any moves. That way it can be ordained by God. And lastly, your business, do everything you can to just make your business better. It's important that you think about new ways and explore new opportunities weekly. If you nurture every portion of your life, everything will always come full circle and you will always, always be fulfilled in some way. It's Entrepreneur Tuesday and it's time to talk about my little journey so far. So I'm gonna give y'all an update. Last week I had a semi-speaking event with my old school at UTA and I think I did pretty good. I'm going to add a few clips from the from the uh, vision board party that I hosted. Entrepreneurship is probably the best thing that I could have ever done with my life. Like, I'm so happy. And the crazy thing about it is, I haven't booked one client yet for my business, but I know that God is going to see me through and I think that that's the key to being an entrepreneur, you have to be patient and you have to understand that everything happens in due time. Be patient and wait it out and just do anything you can in the meantime to build up and prepare for, for your breakthrough. So until next time, y'all stay positive, keep grinding and respect the process. I am signing out, Optimistic K out. I'm an entrepreneur in life goals, so I got a lot of words on my board. It represents everything I'm trying to do. Um, but the first thing you want to do is make a thing for you. You need to make sure that you're focusing on creating an atmosphere that your goals can actually grow in. <laughs> my quote for the year is, don't fight the feeling, invite the feeling. I love Bruno Mars, you know. And I just want to be more uh, present and <laughs> I'm going to be working a lot. But, um, if you look at the sheet that she gave you, the one with all the words on it, it talks about how you can be more intentional.